Okay. Okay. I'm I'm gonna have to watch this because I also want to have my dinner and uh, and yeah, let's let's take a look. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, this is not too loud though. Is it? And by the way, I am a nerd. I am not a geek. I am a nerd, not a geek. And what's the difference you say between a nerd and a geek? I actually have a uh, Venn diagram to show you. <laughs> I, uh, I have lots of graphs and charts. Mm. Be prepared. <laughs> It takes three things to be a nerd. You have to be smart, socially awkward, and obsessed. All three of those things. You're just laughing at the chart, sir. <laughs> Clearly, he's in marketing. Oh, God. <laughs> smart, socially awkward, and obsessed, you're a nerd. Geeks, on the other hand, tend to be just smart and obsessed. They're just Star Trek geeks, comic book geeks. They go to conventions, wow. they go to public events, not nerds. I'm not at a convention unless I'm working IT support. That's the only reason. <laughs> Up here, if you're smart and socially awkward, uh, you're a dork. <laughs> and we have all spent time in the dork region. <laughs> and if you're socially awkward and obsessed, uh, you're a stalker. See you <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is so true! <laughs> people try to figure out where they are on my chart. <laughs> I'm a dork stalker. <laughs> so what does it mean to be a nerd? Because I'm a proud nerd. There's this a couple things so you can good. tell if you're a nerd. First of all, when it comes to formal wear, if you're a nerd, we love cargo pants. Yeah, yeah, people are with me. I got my cargo pants on right now, baby. I got pockets everywhere. I love cargo. I have cargo underwear on. That's how much I love cargo pants. <laughs> and by the way, really big nerds, I do love really these pants. Cargo shorts. <laughs> People are pointing at each other. Oh yeah, Doug. Doug wears the cargo shorts. <laughs> I defend cargo pants. I do. I think they're superior. My wife is horrified that I wear cargo pants. I did a cargo pant analysis. Okay. The, the only problem with these pants is like if you don't have a belt that that holds everything together so tight. When you have your your phone your uh your other phone your your wallet your keys your all of your weird stuff in your pockets they just drop down <laughs> i've been there so i actually wear like female versions of these and they look hilarious but i love them because i, I i'm not like a purse where i don't have a purse i don't have like anything except for when i go to the gym i have a big bag but when I have only like a few things, I wear pants like like these, and it is so hard to make them to make them stay where they're supposed to stay. A regular pair of pants. That much is functional. That, totally useless part of the pant. There is nothing. That right there. That is a great uh. pair of pants. Look at that. <laughs> That's a great pair of pants. Right? Look at that. You could you could carry your entire life in those pants. I agree. <laughs> You can keep an extra pair of pants in a pocket of your pants. If you're prepared for anything. What else does that mean to know? We love charts. I love charts. I love, I collect charts. And I like a chart that really sums things up in like one visual experience, a like whole, whole thing in one chart. For example, here's what's going to happen if you're making microwave popcorn. Okay? Here's the number of edible pieces here. How are we suddenly at, the, uh, at this topic? What the? On the Y axis. And on the x-axis is the time, right? You're at one minutes, two minutes, no pieces have popped, right? Very quiet, nothing happening in the microwave. At some point above two minutes, you don't know exactly where, all pieces are popped, all pieces are burned. <laughs> right? that, that happens every time, right? It does. Quiet, 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 it's all, they're all <laughs> The bag is on fire, the smoke alarm is blaring, and your house will stink for at least a week. <laughs> That, that is, is so experience. accurate. And that window of edible popcorn, that is a one nanosecond. You do not stand a chance. Some of my charts, I don't know why they're true. I just know from experience that this is what happens. This is my gym, the locker room of my gym. Oh my God, this is the most accurate thing ever. Okay, I walk in. I am that blue dot right there. I start to get changed. Pretty much the minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their locker room No, it's like every single locker room will look exactly like this, and it makes it so awkward. Sorry. <laughs> Does that not happen every single time? Well, not with guys. <laughs> I would hope not. 
Not in my case. Huge empty locker room. I'm surrounded by naked guys within seconds. <laughs> Defies probability. That defies probability. And speaking of probability, basic probability says if you flip a quarter a thousand times, it'll land heads 500 times and tails 500 times. When there's standard deviation, that's what will happen. I guarantee it. And that will hold true for a quarter, but not everything. When my son was little, he loved jelly bread. <laughs> if you drop a piece of jelly bread a thousand times, oh my god. My parents know it will always drop on the on the wrong side. Oh my god, why is this so true? This is like killing me. <laughs> give your kid a piece of jelly bread, it, it hits the floor, it's not gonna land jelly side up. No, that's not as messy. The messy way, 800 times out of a thousand. You get a break 200 times out of a thousand. Right, right parents, right? Mm-hmm. And that's on a kitchen floor, right? If, if you have a nice rug, forget it, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> Oh my god, this was the most accurate thing ever. Does, does this dude has a, have a, his own channel? I'm, I'm gonna have to subscribe to that. Thank you for, for sending me this. But we haven't done the most important thing. We haven't, we haven't determined, we haven't determined where we stand. I would hope, I would hope, hope and pray and hope that I'm not a stalker. Nerd. Obsessed. Do I count as obsessed? Probably. Probably. My, my OCD runs in my blood. I am most likely, most likely obsessed. Most, most likely a, a geek. Okay, so, uh, but like, according to this law, if you are a nerd, you are all of these things. You would be obsessed, intelligent, socially awkward, geek, dork, and a stalker. Am I a stalker? S no. I am a researcher. <laughs> At, at best. No, it's, I, I would never categorize myself as a stalker. That's just creepy. Like, I would never... No, not because of IQ... Oh, right. Because Yeah, I apparently can't even read graphs. Can't read graphs, which would technically, immediately, put me out of this category of the IQ people. For sure. <laughs> Okay, we have now proven <laughs> that me, who mentioned about 15 minutes ago that I'm an engineer, that I can't even read a proper graph. So I am immediately, immediately now in this category of stalkers. I have just, by de trying to determine whether or not I am a stalker, because I, I wrongly assumed that that would be correct, if I was everything, and I'm not everything. By getting that wrong, I've immediately put myself into the stalker category. That's actually amazing. It takes real talent to do that. that that's, that's all I have to say. 